Hello there, Taylor with Amal the Emperor Report. So, future tropical cyclone Imelda is out here. Imelda, the future Imelda is currently tropical depression 21. So when Imelda reaches probably about here, when she becomes tropical storm status, then she will officially get her name. Let's talk about this one real quick because it's just very low chance of tropical cyclone formation there right now. But apparently it's going to get as high as moderate. Yes, something to keep an eye on out there. So, Imelda, let's go to the storm track page. Yes, there we go. So, first we can take a look at the satellite loop of future Imelda. And then she's going to be problematic for La Reunion and Maurice out here. So, she will probably, the forecast models anyway, does not look like she will be a threat for Madagascar. But she will quite possibly be a potent storm at the time that she'd be getting in the area of here of course that's you know far enough out into the future that things could change drastically you know let's hope for everybody's sake out there so that is what is happening tropical cyclone wise severe thunderstorm weather wise in the u.s today absolutely nothing relaxed and groovy today but tomorrow starts a round of severe weather so it starts off let's make it slightly easier to see it starts off here so if you go to the probability map, you can see who's covered by the 15%. This is tomorrow, day after tomorrow. There's actually a significant severe weather chance. So first I'll tell you what the significant is apparently going to be is a primary risk of very large hail. That appears because significant weather could either be significant winds, which are 75 miles per hour and greater instead of just 58 and greater. It could be significant hail, which is two inches or larger instead of just one inch or larger or EF2 and greater tornadoes as opposed to just a tornado at all. So day three's threat is apparently for very large hail, or at least that's what it appears to be as of now. So now let's take a look at the probability map. So what we've got going on here is two different main things. We've got the color coding to show where the different percentages of risk are, and then the black hatched area is where the significant severe weather is possible. So again, Probably two inch or larger hail is what's going to be the significant weather risk. But you know, tornadoes, you know, any type of tornado, a 58 mile per hour and greater wind, that can, you know, that can cause problems too. And then days four through eight, there's still stuff in the long range. So April 9th, April 10th. So starting tomorrow kicks off a multi day type of event. Now, I should say it's not a multi-day in the sense of it's necessarily going to be a tornado outbreak, but, you know, because that's when you really, you want to just be, you know, fly to Canada. That's what you do if you're part of, you know, in the path of something like that. So, TV.com is the official homepage of this screencast. We can work as a W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. That is it for today. Hopefully you're staying safe out there.